What is up guys? This is Kenny Plays and uh this is a bit of a different type of episode than I usually do. This is my top 5 texture packs for 1.5.2. This is kind of be like this is kind of going to be like a special for you guys helping me get 250 subs. So I thank you guys so much for that. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So here is number 5. All right, guys, this is number five. This is called Will Pack 2.0. And uh, as you can see, the uh, helmet is kind of blocking my view. You can't really see my face, but you know, not really a big deal. Let's just look through all the blocks here. I think this is a really good texture pack because it adds kind of a different outlook onto the game. Basically, what I mean is. The colors are different, so it basically makes it look like a new Minecraft game. And as you can see, almost every single block is different. I don't recall ever seeing blocks that are like the same as the original. Maybe snow and ice is this, is the same, but that's about it, really. Everything else looks different. I'm pretty sure those stairs are different, even though they look kind of similar. Yeah, pretty much every single thing. If if you just look, the creeper heads are obviously uh the same. Maybe they are. I'm not even sure. We'll have to check that out. Oops. Yeah, those are the same. Whatever. All right, let's look at the paintings. I have not even looked at this yet. I just want to see if they're the same or not. Uh, so far. Yeah, actually, they are the same. So. That is number five. And also, if you guys were wondering what world I am in, this is my old Let's Play that I do not do anymore. And as you can see, this is a strip mine. And this strip mine looks pretty cool with the texture pack. I really like the look of the stone and the stone bricks. And the chest. I really like chests too. But anyway. That was number five, and once I go back up here, I will introduce you guys to number four. Oops, all right. All right, here is number four. All right, guys, this is the number four texture pack on my list. It is called LB Photorealism. And uh, basically, the name is exactly what it does in the game. It adds realism to it. As you can see, the stone looks very realistic. And all of these texture packs that I'm using are very uh I wouldn't uh, I don't know how to word that, but they don't use a lot of memory. But so far all I can see that's different is I mean that is the same is the signs. The signs are exactly the same as the vanilla Minecraft. But as you can see, pretty much everything is different. I'm going to have to look through, try to find something that's actually the same. They put a lot of time in making this realistic. This is a 32 by 32 texture pack. So as I said, it's not wasting that much memory. Well, I guess actually those signs do look different. Well, maybe not here, but the actual icon does. Let's check out what the paintings look like. Those are the same. I'm, yep, those are the same. All right, one of these times we're going to have different paintings. And uh, another, I'm just going to look through other stuff too. As you can see, all of the, you know, ores and stuff, it kind of looks real. The dyes are different. They have like outlines. That's pretty cool. I'm going to see how the lava looks. No, I'm not. Uh, why should I do that? All right, I'm just going to see how it looks right here. All right, that looks pretty cool. And uh, I'm just going to move on to number three. So I'll be right back with number three. All right, guys, I am back with the number three texture pack, in my opinion. And it is called Dandelion. And obviously, I will be putting all of these in the description so you guys can download it if you want. But this is called Dandelion version 0.8. Or version 0 0.8, I should probably say. And uh, basically... This is definitely one of my favorite texture packs because it adds a whole new way to break blocks. Oops, I'm in creative mode. I'm going to go into survival mode for a second. I know, I am level 24,000. I don't know why I did that. But if you look at the way blocks break, it goes in like a spiral. You, do you see how it does that? 
That's something I really like about this. And also, if you look at the sun, it's a spiral. And if you've picked up on this, this is what I used in my uh, Pokemon Pixelmon series. So I'm going to go back into creative mode. And as you can see, the uh, ladders and the, everything's unique pretty much. Except for the spawn eggs. I mean, really, spawn eggs don't really matter. It's just a really unique, it kind of makes the game look like, I don't know, like an old cartoon kind of. And I really like that. So I'm going to check out the paintings once I come up here. I know for a fact number two, or either number one or number two, is going to have uh, unique paintings. But as you can see, this is the same. So hopefully the next one will have better paintings. So let's move on to number two. Alright guys, I am back with number two, and it is called Sonic the Hedgehog. It's, it's Sonic the uh, Hedgehog texture pack, obviously. And basically, this changes up the game. So, as I said last time, it doesn't even make it look like Minecraft. It makes it look like, like Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously. But as you can see, every single thing here is unique, pretty much. And there are also animated blocks. That's what I love about this texture pack. A lot of blocks are animated. Like, as you can see, a flower, it's moving around. Trap, ch I mean, chests. Also animated. Jamming tables. Redstone torches. That looks pretty cool. But uh, the most cool thing about this texture pack, or maybe tied for the uh, best thing about the texture pack, one would be the armor. I want to look at my armor. I am just a character. And as you can see, I can take that off and make myself look like Kenny again. And if you look at the armor, and also the weapons, those look really cool. Look at the axe. That looks so legit. But anyway, as you can see, different armor gives you different, uh, basically, it gives you different characters from the Sonic series. I want to see what this looks like. This should be pretty cool. Let's look at myself. That looks pretty awesome. I'm not even going to lie. But as I was saying before, the most impressive thing, I think, about this texture pack is the paintings. So let's look at the paintings. Look at that. That's just Sonic and... I don't know, I wasn't really a big fan of Sonic when I was a little kid, but... I don't, I don't know all their names, is what I'm trying to say. But they're all unique, and there's not one that's the same as Vanilla Minecraft. There is a giant one. A giant uh, poster of... Sonic, and I'm going to find that. I'm determined to find that before I show number one. It was hard for me to pick between this and number one. That was not it. It's a giant... Oh, here, this... Oh, that's not it, actually. But that is a really cool painting, too. I'm going to give it a couple more tries. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You guys can do this on your own. Uh, Maybe a little more. As you can see, there are also a lot of posters just... Oh, here, oh no, that was the same one. Alright, never mind. But, uh, as you can see, this is a pretty cool texture pack. This is definitely number one or number two for me. But I think number one might be a lot better. So let's move on to that. Alright, guys, I am back with my number one favorite texture pack. And this texture pack is called Life. It, uh, it is 128 by 128. And it kind of looks similar to number five, which was, uh, Oh no, maybe not number five. It was similar to uh, number four, which was uh, not Will Pack. I'm not even sure what it's called, but this is a really, really, really cool texture pack. I love using this. And uh, some of the blocks are the same, as you can see, but basically all the other stuff it adds just makes it so much better. Just look at the stone and the stone bricks. I also love the look of the lava. I mean, this, it doesn't look that good. I mean, it doesn't make you automatically think, wow, this is like really cool. But once you actually start playing in the actual game, like as you can see, look at the moon. That is like the real moon. That is really cool. I want to see what happens in the day. I think maybe the most impressive thing is the lava. I mean, look at that. It's so realistic. 
But let's check out the paintings. Are they the same? They are the same. All right. But that's not really a big deal because this is like the best texture pack. Again, I think it is similar to, uh, I'm going to look at, it is similar to LB photorealism, but I think this beats it just because of certain blocks that make it better. So let's, it looks actually very similar now that I look at it, but I just think the way it makes the wood look like an actual house, it just makes it better than all the other ones. Let's look at all the items here. I think the diamonds look, that might be the most impressive thing. The diamonds and the ingots, it just makes it look like real life. But obviously, it is not complete. There are a bunch of blocks that aren't actually done yet. But this is a work in progress mod, and I think this could easily be the best texture pack I've ever seen. I just said mod, I meant texture pack. But yeah, that about sums up my, uh, I guess you could call it a 250 subscriber special uh, texture pack review. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it that. I'm not even sure what I'm going to call it. But yeah, this does wrap up the video. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to click the like button. And as I said earlier in the video, I will be putting all the links to these in the description. So you, you guys can download them and play with them. See if you like them or not. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you guys next time.